Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another book review. And as you can see, this time I'm reviewing Expose. This is book three in the Agent series. There's four books to the series so far. This one just came out this month, I believe, on the second. I'm not sure. It just, it just came out, like, last week. So let me double check. I believe it came out the second last week. So I... Read the first two books, love them. Read this book, it's okay. And I'll tell you why it's okay. First of all, it is a character we barely got introduced to in the last book, and he was compared to Micah. Like, if you looked in the mirror, this would be this is this guy's you too. But um, this book was a little slower paced. And that's about all. Like, it was just going from the first to the second book, you would figure to have a little bit more action. It really didn't. It was more of a true romance between these two with a little bit of the D.A. spice thrown in. I'll say that. So the main character is Kingston. He goes by King. So you know, if you've read the first two books, Brax and Micah, you know, have a field day with him. And the heroine is Goldie. So, <laughs> they put this man, King, undercover. First of all, he is not the undercover type. He's an ex-army ranger. He's known for kicking in doors and getting crap done. He's not known for being like Braxton, who was a smooth undercover operative. No. they And they were ripping like, oh, you're awkward as all hell. Like, you blew this, whatever. So, um, he goes and meets with Goldie, who's a wedding planner. He's like, I need this wedding planned. I need it in this place. I want to get in here, look around. This is for my dying aunt. And they're like, you couldn't have came up with something better? So Goldie's like, you know, the pink's, you know, booked up for years. But she's like, I, I need this to make my business thrive. So she sneaks him in, and he figures out we're not supposed to be here. Well, little do we know. da 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 The business owned by her brother and he's a douche like for real so come to find out because it's the ages book and it's involved the DEA so you know come to find out her brother is a drug dealer and she actually had signed over half her business just to get away from him like no well of course Kingston falls for Goldie and their boss, Tim, is like, yo, I've had it with y'all. Like, what is going on? I knew this was going to happen. I got the most baddest agents around. And, and y'all just be putting me in positions like, what? Like, Tim, I can only imagine, gets his butt chewed out by his boss over these jokers, yo. And they can't really get rid of them because they're bringing in the bad guys, like, left and right. You find out that Goldie... How can I put this? One of the side characters' book says she Goldie's got big lady balls. That's what he calls them. He's like, I love me a woman with a big lbs, and I think that's so funny because that's how some of these women are. They got the brass cojones to stand up to these men, do what they got to do. And like he said, it's the least the ones you least suspect. The ones that are quiet and timid are the ones that got the steel ones, the big, the big LBs. I like this book because it brings in characters. Now I heard these characters are in another series of her. And I believe that series is The Killers, which I will read. I just got hooked on this one. But back to um I think that's all I'm gonna lead you with. This is a good book. I'm gonna give it a three. It is not my favorite. My favorite right now is still book one, Braxton's. He was like, he's the alpha dog. Like, mm. I mean, all these guys are alphas, but he just had that alpha dog aura that I was like, what? Now, exciting news. Book four. I believe it's coming out in November next year. Let me double check that. Guys, I just double checked this. And the next book does not come out until September 3rd of 2024. So, that being said, I'll probably be able to get to the Killer Series because I do have some books that I want to read. 
anyway, dun, 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 that book is about Rocco. For some reason, I want to call him Rico. I don't know. But he's Rock, and he is one of my favorites. I fell in love with him in the first book. And I love how you see his career go in stages. Um, so I will definitely be getting that book when it comes out. Um, this book is also on Kim and Unlimited. All three of them are so far. Um, I gotta say, I'm liking Brie, a Brianne Asher's writing. It, it's got me. So let me ask you guys, ladies and gentlemen, what do you like better? Do you like the undercover agent type thing? Or are y'all more like the bad boy mafia vibe? Because I'm not quite sure. I don't know yet. So in the comment below, let me know what kind of genre you like. Because I'm liking them both. This series is really good. Hit that like button, subscribe. I will link the playlist below for this because I'm going to have a pre Asher playlist. And I will talk your ear off in the next review. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good evening and night. And I will talk to you later. Bye.